to begin um, creating an auxiliary plane. So this is something unique about this particular project. You have done everything else before. So what is new again, uh, creating this portion of the part, which it falls on a uh, plane that is different than normal or principal planes. This is the plane we call an auxiliary plane. Let's begin creating the new file. English system, standard part. Begin with the normal plane in this portion, we will do XZ plane. And switch to an isometric view. You can better see your orientation. Start with rectangle. Two point center option. Snap to the origin and use the longer side parallel to X, which is in this case is three inches. Add dimension to other end, which is two. Once fully constrained, finish the sketch, extrude. In this case, 0.75. Next step, add fillets. Change the size to 0.25. To begin new plane, on 3D model ribbon, select plane. Select angle to plane around edge. Select the front face. For the axis, expand origin, select Y axis, 530 degrees. Check mark to finish. On this new plane, start new sketch. Select the same rectangle, select the point, on the center, add dimensions, 1.5, which is equal to diameter of that upper portion, also 0.75, which begins from the surface to the center of the arc. 0.75 by one and a half rectangle needs two dimensions we switch back to the isometric view, we can see this is in order to have this one perfectly connecting to the surface, we need to establish a geometry. Let's go to project geometry, select project geometry, select an edge on the back. This edge is projected to the current plane. Now we can use that as a construction line. You may want to switch to a view to wireframe for clarity. We can see we have a line here that we can use collinear constraint. Select this construction line, select bottom edge of the rectangle. We go to the front view. We make sure that this point aligns with the center origin. Usually it's easier to pick from the isometric view. So pay attention to this axis here. X is now standing parallel to normally what would be Y axis. This is our normal icon, which usually they are. This one is the one we have selected. X, so that would be horizontal. 
selecting the origin or center to origin, center of the rectangle to origin. That locks in that position. Now we have fully constrained object. Back to the front, add an arc, selecting the center point arc. Center of the arc is the midpoint of the line. One end is the beginning and ending the arc is opposite end. Still should be fully constrained. Finish the sketch. Extrude. Select both profiles. Select both directions. Symmetric. One inch is the distance, which is the default. You don't have to change. One inch. Okay. Switch back our view to visual style, back to standard uh, or edge, standard with edge. Next step, using the whole feature, select whole. And right now, my dimension is 0.25. I'm going to change that one to 0.75. Select the face, select the arc, and OK. Now we want to make sure that we have holes on all four corners. Best we could do is change to the top view. We can see all of them. And zoom and pan as necessary. Go to the hole. This time is 0.25. Select the location of on that face and snap to the origin uh, this arc. Give him concentric relations. Next one. Concentric concentric with the arc. Concentric with each arc in each corner. But this gets on the way usually we move once you finished okay back to the isometric view we need last thing we need to do select this front face as a new work plane new sketch okay once we select the front view Continue drawing the <clears throat> okay. We will select the rectangle, two points. We start approximate point. Make sure you don't snap to anything so we're able to dimension that. I'm going to dimension another one on this side, create one more on both and are pretty much the same size. And then I add dimensions between these two lines. It's 0.25. Between this one and this one as well, 0.25. And now we need to give a location from this edge to this one is 0.25 as well. And another 25.25. And we do have one more dimension to finish these boxes. For these, I use two points rectangle and define locations and size and fully constrained. Finish a sketch. and extrude by selecting both select the cut through all okay that completes your project you would add necessary annotations and save your work